We're on our way out to... What? We're on our way out to the sale. Uh, now, I say out to the sale is every single year. Oh, that's delicious. Every single year we stay out by the sale. Everybody does, right? There's a multitude of hotels. There's Glow. Um, Stabridge there too? There's a number of them there. Uh, and then just down the road, the Griffin Gate is there. And there's a big one, MC Suites. Anyway, there's tons of hotels. And it's a, it's a nice area. Well, I was driving down here about uh, two weeks ago. And Scotty had said to me, he says, oh, you got to stay out at, uh, I forget the name. I think it's called, like, the, the area that it's built on. It's called Fritz's Farm. So they call it Fritz's Farm area, I think. When you put in Fritz's Farm, it comes up. So must be it. Um, and it's 20 minutes from the sale. Which sounds like a lot when you can stay in a hotel five seconds from the sale. But, man, I, I stayed out there. Oh, my God. A ton of restaurants, nice hotels. And this is the one place. Now, I haven't been to it. You know, I, I'm I'm traveled, but I'm not well traveled. Where I've been to, you know, all the states and all the big cities. I've been to horse racing stuff for the most part, and Lexington's the first place I've been to where different hotels pop up. It's not just the Hilton or the Marriott or you know or Motel Six or whatever you know floats your boat. It's a number of different hotels, and we stayed in a hotel called the Origin, and it was really really nice last night and it wasn't super expensive and it was uh, out at this Fritz's Farm place and of course there's a Starbucks in the parking lot that might have played a role also old Fritz he can make the coffee I'll tell you what what um the point of my video is to say good morning to everybody on oh. Sunday we're on our way out to uh, out to the sale to look at all the babies now Cam our cameraman Cam the cameraman gets here at 10, 10 30. So uh, we plan to start videoing at that point. Um, meeting up with all our clients uh, down here at the sale today, letting them look at the horses with us. We're going to be going out to dinner later on. So it's going to be a good time. Now, last night um, we talked about the date's a weird place, eh? It's, it's weird. Uh, so we stopped for gas and I went in to get, uh, get Amy and I a couple of drinks. And um, uh, behind me there was a lady waiting in line and she's carrying on a conversation and I wasn't really paying attention you know how people have the earbuds in and they're just talking away and talking away I turn around, she's talking away no earbuds, completely crazy not one earbud in the hand she was just talking to herself it seemed like a very polite conversation she wasn't angry or anything but full on conversation with herself um, and that's not to say that everybody in Dayton does that. It just seems like it just seems like a, that particular gas station. That particular was, gas station was a little sketchy. Uh, it did not look out of place. I was not shocked when I didn't see uh, the earbuds at all. But nevertheless, uh, so the horses. My biggest surprise, aside from the, the earbud lady last night, was Chevron's bypass. Um, you know, I, I hate buying from her, not because he's a bad guy, but because he's a great horseman. And it's super tough to buy horses from him. Just at that price we had paid for her, it just seemed logical. And, um, you know, it's such a small world. The Carter, you never met the kid, Carter Delgatti. He's like 19 or 20, blonde hair. He's buddies with Dexter. He came, he came from uh, New Zealand. And I met his dad, Cran Delgatti, when I was in New Zealand great trainer and the kid was over here driving he drove some for Linda and Dexter and everybody helped him get some drives and he's a good driver and he drove uh, Chevron's bypass I believe the day she was set a third beat of nose in 49 and 4 it was like three four weeks ago and I just happened to run into him I, we were sitting there the first night I was in Lexington uh, 10 days ago there was no like uh, at 9 o'clock everything's closed especially on like a Sunday or something so no, there was nowhere to go. It was night racing, and uh, the Antonacci's had uh, had some food, drinks over at their barn. So I, I went full wedding crashers and went over and <laughs> I was talking to everybody, and um, and the kid was there, and we were sitting down and talking to Dexter and Yannick, and, and um, I asked the young fellow, I said, "Hey, you drove a, a mare that we had bought, uh, 
Chevron's bypass. He goes, oh, she's sweet, sweet Philly. He said, my dad had her in New Zealand. So they had her in New Zealand. And and uh, he knew her quite well. And I said, geez, you know, I, I was hoping she'd get around a half, but she doesn't show any half miles. Right? He said, oh, no, she'll get around a half, no problem. He was right. She did get around a half, no problem. That was a heck of a mile. And, and Jason and I were a little concerned because... I'd said this in the video last night. She had made a break on Jason coming to the half in the mud uh, training the other day for no particular reason. Now, when we looked at her video, her hobbles were quite snug. So we just pulled her hobbles up. It just pulled them in another hole and uh, and told Luke, hey, you know, she did make this break. Just drive her how she feels. I'll tell you what, you know, when you, um, when you get smashed up in a wreck and Luke's been down ripped it. the last time he came off the track I was standing there it literally looked like two panthers had their way with him his suit was all ripped up his he was all disheveled looked like a looked, looked like he just literally fell out of a three-story window and and uh, just go out and blast her I, I was impressed I was impressed so a great job by uh, by Luke last night in uh, in driving uh, in driving Chevron to bypass, and, and that's not to take anything away from, you know, the the true. Where am I going here? South or north? Exit nine B. No, it's the next one. Um, you know, the start of the show obviously was tactical mounts, eight hole in the mud. You know, four wide coming out of the last turn and a closing fourth. I thought she raced rather well. Gorgeous package just continues to impress me. And you know what? You know what the best thing about Gorgeous package is? She continues to reinforce the point that I always make. You still can go to Ohio and buy a horse for anything, and it can become anything. It's not that she won the Breeders' Crown, and, and 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 I guess that's unfair to the other jurisdictions. Every jurisdiction, you can find some luck and buy a a very modestly priced horse and have it be a, a very nice horse. Um, she just happens to be one of them. So I guess I'm a little biased in saying that. Just I always found in Ohio. When you look at the program beside the sale price of the horse, and you, you see a horse that you you think is actually a really nice horse, you may not be surprised to find small digits beside the the, the price of the animal, and and that's why I say that the way I do. But you know, in, in horse racing in general, you can still go out and buy a real good horse for a small amount of money, and and uh, and that's what's great about this game. And she only reinforces that. What's that? To here? Yeah. yeah, it's 19 minutes, I told you. You've been talking for 19 minutes? No, but remember, no. we redid the video because you were picking your nose. No, you said something. <laughs> <laughs> you said something stupid, that's why. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> oh my god, woke up this morning. <coughs> Jeep. <laughs> yeah, that's karma. <coughs> I think you might be right. Woke up this morning to. <coughs> is it right here? Griffin Gate? Yeah. <coughs> Woke up this morning to um, Lauren saying that Ollie was thrown up last night. This poor kid isn't thrown up in like five years. They're staying with Lauren. And. Um, poor Lauren. The poor Lauren is right. This isn't right. This is not right at all. Two Griffin Gates? There, this must be, uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going on, but there's not a card check at the Griffin Gate. Um, so poor Ollie was up and threw up last night. Gonna miss football today. And he's a little bit of a sucky baby. Oh, he's the worst. <clears throat> oh my God. He's like very much like you when you're sick. Whoa. Yeah. Don't take digs at me now in my own video. It's bad. Yeah, that was just you just getting back at me because you are picking your nose. I didn't pick my nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, poor Ollie. Uh, he goes, oh, I'm not feeling that good. I don't, I don't think I can go to football. And... He must be sick if he would miss football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, he'll, uh, he'll live. But uh, I feel bad for Lauren. Oh. Yeah, she's got Addy. Addy's gonna be making fun of him the whole time. Well, too. that's the thing. Like, at least if Addy got sick, she would have went to the toilet. Mm. She's, so she's, Addie, she's Addie, a veteran. Yeah, she's a veteran. Addie, you know, all he did when he was a kid, uh, he, he'd like throw up really easy. And he's never, hasn't done it in years. And Addie went through a spell where she would, right? She'd get a little cough. She'd cough, cough, cough and throw up. 
Well, she would get up at like 2 o'clock in the morning and just go to the bathroom where Ollie he would just puke everywhere. So I guess that kind of means it. I'm just glad it was on our, on our air mattress and not their stuff. I feel so bad oh. for Lauren. Anyway, um, not the greatest start to Lauren's week, but definitely a, a great start to ours. We're on our way, as I said, out to the sale. I'm going to pick up Steve right now. I'm going to pick up Steve. We're going to head over to the sale. It's literally two minutes away. We're going to start looking at horses, bring you guys some videos later on today. And do we have any horses racing today? Just you know? Save America. Just Save America. Ooh. It's the right horse to have if you're only going to have one racing. So Save America is racing tonight. Good luck to all my partners with him. Uh, we're having a great week. Great week again, and hopefully we can have a wonderful sale. How long do you think he's been sitting there waiting for Well, him? I told him 9.36, so we're three minutes oh. late. Okay. Here comes Steve. Lexington begins. Take care.